Okay, so now that we have our uh, heater turned on, we have our counterweights lifted back up to where it says it's safe to operate. We have our turn, our swing function on, cable number one, and boom up, boom down function. We're never gonna use the cable number two. Do not touch this. Because if you kick it on and start running it back and forth, you're gonna destroy the cable because it's just gonna be freewheeling back there. So just leave that one off. Now, we're going to go into this main menu again. That's your outriggers. And notice this light's flashing right here. That means you have to turn your house, your uh, swing off. So we're gonna come over here, turn that off. Now we can toggle over to whether we want to extend the beam or we can extend the, uh, the pad itself. So we come over here, select that. And then this acts as your outriggers along with this button here. So this is you no know, extend, this is retract. So you hit the extend and then press whichever one of these you're wanting to lift. For example, you know, I press, I'm pressing this one, it's running that one. But of course you have to be pressing this one at the same time. Okay, and this, this light here just says that the suspension is turned off. Because if it was on, it would be trying to you know press down, make all axles even, and trying to lift it up off of the outriggers. So that, that's just telling you that you're off, and you're never going to want it on while you're working on a job site. Because it, it'll uh, if you go over a bump per se, it will try to counteract which way the crane is leaning and put put more uh, pressure in that side of the crane. Then when you come back over that hump, or you know, go over it, then you're gonna be at an angle in the opposite direction. So that your suspension's always gonna be off. And you honestly have no way to turn that on while the crane is set up. Then we're gonna come over here to the one, two, three. It has a picture of a boom and one, two, three. Now, with this setup, what we're doing here I like to go back about 120 feet from frame line to the very back of the crane. So 130 feet from the last frame line to the back of the crane. And that gives you a little bit of, you know, a little bit of room. You're not gonna be right on the, you're not gonna be maxing the crane out. Cause most of these uh, sections only weigh about maximum 10,000 pounds. So, um, do your, we're gonna do our best not to run this one at 100%. If there's something you absolutely have to reach, either run it at 56% or 89%. Don't do it at 100% because with how many parts of cable we're running, it will uh, run the spool out of cable. So we're pretty much never gonna use, well, technically section number one, but refer to it as uh, section number six. And you're always going to select them. It's going to be, let's just say six and down. You're never just going to come in here to three and shoot three out. You're never, it's always just going to be from here, out, here, here, and here. Okay, so we want to, let's say we're going to, uh, let's say we're going to set some roof panels. Okay, we, I know with my measure wheel, that I have to be able to reach 100 feet. Now I'm pretty close to the building, so I need a lot of height, so I have enough, uh, so I can boom down enough and still be long enough. So let's say we're gonna run out five, four sections. So we're gonna go over here to our toggle, hit the center, and scroll it to whatever one we want, 100%. Hit the center toggle, scroll over, 100%, 100% and 100%. Okay, now come down here and see it's not letting you go to okay. That's because our boom up, boom down function is still turned on. This switch right here beside the boom up, boom down is your boom extend. I'm gonna mash that. Then we can come over here and hit the okay. 
Now this is flashing with a picture of a joystick and an arrow in either direction. All right, so we're gonna come over here to our uh, right joystick. I'm not gonna run all these out. I mean, it's you run one out, you run them all out. It's the same thing. But you're just gonna, you know, press it which either whichever way you want. Then it's going to put the uh, jib. It's gonna swing the jib away. Now you got to give it some juice. Now, where that red thing is, it's moving up. That's a cylinder going up to pin on to section number six. And so while, while as ever that joystick is flashing, keep, you know, something on the, uh, keep pressure on your, uh, your joystick, you know. You can let off, it's not a big deal. You can stop midway. But that just means that you need to keep holding it. Okay, so I'm gonna hold that. It's going to unlock the boom section from the other boom sections and run it out. Okay, but I'm not gonna do that right now. It's, while that's flashing, just hold it out. You know, make sure to cable down. All right, so then we're gonna go, we're gonna set these all back at 0%. Select OK. Then it's telling, and it has an arrow pointing that way. So you're gonna grab the joystick, pull it back that way. So now it's going to take that cylinder and take it back down to the bottom of the boom and pin it off for storage. Because if this is, you know, if, let's just say if I stop right here and it's not pinned off and I go to move the crane, that cylinder can, you know, bounce back and forth and damage itself. So we're just gonna keep holding our uh, right hand joystick. Whichever way, it's, uh, it's, it says an arrow either way, so you can hold it whichever way you want. And just keep holding your joystick until that flashing joystick goes off. And there we go, that's off. That's the exact same procedure for every single one of these. Select, press okay, then just hold the joystick whichever way it says. And it'll run it, it does it all automatically. It'll run it all out, get to the end, go back and get the next one. Now for high speed boom up and boom extend function, it's gonna be this button right here. So I'm pressing that one, that's on high speed. Now for the cable, it's gonna be exactly opposite. This is high speed for the boom and boom extend. This is high speed for cable. Get that, it's gonna turn it on and off. High speed, on and off. And if these are green, that means that those are turned on. So we're gonna go back over here, turn on our swing again, and turn on boom up, boom down. There you go. You can run, you know, run this back and forth, run your boom up, run it down, whichever way you need to do. Then, Let's see here. I'm just going to turn that. Uh, and it usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes for that uh, hydraulic heater to actually get everything warm enough. Now, let's see here. Oh, and if this setting comes up as uh, metric, you know, let's say meters instead of feet, we're going to come over here to, as you know, Celsius and Fahrenheit. Select this one, then select that one, and it'll suck it back to feet. Um, let's see here. Okay, also, another thing I probably should have mentioned when we're moving the crane. The way it's set up right now with the 50, or, uh, 50 tons worth of counterweights, we're gonna want our boom at you know between 65 and 70 degrees for driving it. That just puts enough weight over the center of the machine to you know, be the equal weight disbursement among all axles. Because if you, if you have your boom down at 40 degrees, your, you know, your rear axles are gonna be uh, way overloaded. And it's gonna be leaning way to the rear, almost to the point of you think you're gonna do a wheelie if you hit a bump. Okay, uh, that, let me see here. Um, okay, and it's honestly, there's gonna be a, you know, it's gonna say 
Oh, there's an error almost every single day. Come in here and look. All right, that's blank. Now, we'll go on this other one. That's blank. Now, a lot of times, it'll just be something with the air conditioning. You know, a sensor says it's too cold or too hot. Go in your thing and check it. And it has a, like a picture of a, you know, like a snowflake. And, uh, and you'll know that's just about the air conditioning, not a big deal. Now, if it's saying, you know, flashing, you know, shut machine down right away, shut the machine down right away. I'm not saying disregard warnings, but don't panic about them because it does it every single day. And it's not really something to be too worried about. <clears throat> now, in this orange folder here, we have our uh, monthly inspection, which I just filled out. Now, you know, just fill that out bi monthly or, you know, every month. Write down your hours, serial number, and everything. And we also have our annual inspection in here. And we also have an annual inspection sticker down um, underneath the step. That's what they're going to be looking for if OSHA comes out here. And <clears throat> due to the fact they want you to have a like a placard with hand signals outside of the crane, due to the fact that we operate almost strictly on radio, we don't need that. I mean, we're, we're based off of a, a radio communication system. Cannot use a phone because the delay has to be, you know, a radio. And, you know, you shouldn't be on other channels that other guys are on. Which is like why we have walkie-talkies for everybody to talk on and just the headsets for the guys running the crane. Because, you know, it's... If you got three different guys talking, one guy says up, down, and you're at different parts of the job site, you don't know what you're doing. If somebody says stop and somebody says go, it's, uh, you're always going to be confused. And whenever you're, what I work, what I think works the best is just to watch one guy. Like if, if Henry's out here or whoever's guiding you or, you know, you're talking to him, watch, you know, just watch them. Because you know, if they give you a hand signal, you know, watch them. Don't, you know, if there'll be five guys trying to tell you to boom up, you know, boom down cable up or swing right or left, that just be that'll just confuse you. Just watch one guy as a you know designated guy to guide you. Otherwise, it'll, you'll just be uh, that make your life a nightmare. But other than that, um. We have our override key up here, you know, in case you get in a real uh, tight spot where, um, you know, your somebody's life is on the line. You know, mash that button, hit that. Then also you're gonna come over here and hit this one, and then you're gonna hold on this and do whatever function function you need to do. And I think that's about it. We got windshield wipers up here windshield wipers let's see this is for the front then the square ones for the top glass and let's see here boom lights and then this is a boom out or there's a light mounted up on the boom let's see i'll kick it on and you probably can't see it but there's light up there and you can rotate it up or down you know point it at what you're working at now to idle it up just hit that plus plus and hold and just watch your rpms it'll only idle up to about 1200 rpms we got 1190 right there so only gonna idle up to about that high and when you want to idle it down just press that uh, minus symbol and bring it down you know to about 650 rpms then just you know wait five wait five ten minutes you know put the rigging away at the end of the day that way you can um, let everything cool off. Then you know once you let it uh, idle for a designated amount of time, just go up here, hold that for two seconds, let off, and then six seconds later the crane will shut off just like that. Then always come over here and don't forget to kick this key off. A lot of times I I forgot to do it. Just kick that key off, screens go blank, and about all there is to it. It's a pretty long video. 
uh, for the armrest, there's a button right here. You can press that, you have to keep holding on it to flip that armrest up. And to make the door, this is your door release. Hit that, close it. And uh, other than that, it's pretty simple. Just takes time and practice and learning learning the crane but once you run one they kind of ran them all they all have their different different features but for the most part they're all the same and this is our def i just filled it up and so this will last probably a good three weeks but i also i have two spare jugs up there sitting above the engine so and then this is where you put the diesel in now it's just it's a it's two separate tanks but there's a fill on either side and it has a, a crossover line so if you can only get the truck in one side per se you can just fill up one you'll just fill up one side wait a couple minutes you know and just keep kind of trickling it in and it'll flow to the other side holds uh, about 200 gallons if you run it dry and all the manuals are in this fancy tote now those are yeah that'll tell you everything you need to know about this thing obviously they're owner's manuals but we got a bunch of load charts which i honestly just go online uh just type in gmk 5250l um load chart it'll pop up on your phone and that's way easier it, Instead of digging through three books to find the same thing, you can pop it up on your phone in two minutes. And that's about it. Any questions? Don't hesitate to call the technician. I will have his number in, uh, I'll send it to Caesar. Uh, his name is Keith Wheeland, or Keith Weinstand. He's out of, he's out from Omaha. He's the one who did the setup and everything on this crane. So he knows his stuff when it comes to cranes. And, well, especially this one. He's, <laughs> he has some opinions upon them, but 